Hey everyone, it's Rachel Ost and welcome back to another video in my minimalism series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stay clutter free after you've done your initial decluttering process. My first tip is to stay inspired and there's a few different ways that you can do this. One way that I've been loving lately is this app that I found. So if you go on the app store and you search for minimalism amino, it'll bring up this app. And what it is, is basically like a small social network in itself. And you can sit there and find other posts that are inspirational. I was going on there and asking you guys questions. I've been throwing up a few posts myself. Um, you can see here, I'll show you some of my favorite little things that I've come across lately. So there's skincare, there's tips from other people. And it's good just to be able to talk to like-minded people who are going through the same process and you can get ideas and tips off them as well. There's so much stuff in there too and oh how funny is it reading about yourself as a YouTuber. <laughs> Jump on the app and if you want to find my profile, just search for my name, just R-A-C-H-E-L. And I'll chat to you guys on there. My second tip is to focus on why you started the decluttering process in the first place. So for me, I find personally, it means that there's slightly less cleaning. I have more time to relax rather than just cleaning all the time. Um, maybe it's that you want to be more organized or you just want to discover what is important to you. To keep clutter out of the home, make some new habits. These don't have to be massive things. In fact, I would suggest making small habits that are more maintainable. So for example, adopt a do it now mentality where if something needs to be done, you do it straight away rather than procrastinating and leaving it. Or maybe for yourself, it's fixing things rather than just throwing them out. Or maybe even making sure you're recycling more, just something like this, just little habits that you can still in every day. This one's pretty important and that's to shop carefully. So something that I like to do personally is have questions for myself. So for example, if I'm buying clothing, some questions that I'm gonna ask are one, do I actually need this? Two, am I going to notice if I don't own it? Three, am I actually going to wear it regularly? Four, is the quality gonna last? Five, will the style last or is it just another fast fashion trend? Even things like grocery items can be considered more carefully, like do you go to markets or maybe if you're short on time like I am, it's about shopping online and that way you're only getting the necessary items and you're not bringing in all the extra junk into your house. Manage your sentimental items. So I know this one's difficult for a lot of people. I don't have any myself to even show you guys in this clip, but take a camera, take some photos of the items, and that way you've got the photos forever. It's worth figuring out, are you more attached to the item itself or just the idea of it? Create a no spend challenge for yourself where for a few days or a few weeks, you only spend money on the absolute necessary items. This will help you get any excess spending under control and it will help you stop bringing extra items into the house that you don't need. Do one extra decluttering or organization job per day. This is particularly great if you're at the start of your journey. I do have a 60 day challenge if you want to get onto that, which I'll probably link in the description box anyway. So for example, one thing for me is decluttering, especially things like skincare because they happen to build up. And journal it. What keeps coming back into your house? Why does it keep coming back into your house? So as with my previous example, it's skincare and that's because I've had skin problems and so I try out different products and all of that sort of thing. So that's where I know that I have to get that area under control. Look at what's happening regularly and figure out how you can solve it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the minimalism series in the playlist in the description box and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.